Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today we're going to look at making a funeral item, uh, but in an eco-friendly way. So one of the great products that you can use for that is the Agra wool, and this is basically what it looks like. So it is a ball, I keep wanting to say balsamic. It's not balsamic, it's a, <laughs> what is it? It's a rock wool. There is a bit of word beginning with B that I, uh, describes it and I cannot remember what it is. So basically it's a rock wool, so it's a mineral rather than a petrochemical. So you can buy it in blocks but you can also buy it in sheets. So you can get it in sheets like this. So what I have done is I've got my sheet and I've cut a template. So this is really the template that we want to use and um, we're going to make this so that it is environmentally friendly and um, because of that then, what we need is to think about how we're going to do that. So we don't want to use any plastic, we don't want to use anything that's not going to biodegrade. So you can use wire, that is okay. Uh, so what I've done is I've cut out my heart shape and we're going to use that as a template but we're also going to use that as a backing plate as well. And I'm just going to use some German pins just to hold that on. Now you could glue it, but again, like your hot glues tend to be plastic based, so we're not going to glue it. And we're not going to do this um, with flowers as the basic material, because if we do that, it's going to make it very heavy and wet and um, yeah, there's no reason why you couldn't do a base one using the agri wool but what I would suggest is that you would then need to make a shape out of a different material and you're obviously wanting that to be quite thin so you could make a shape out of something like polystyrene um, but again that's not biodegradable so you're really looking at making it with wood which is going to be more work or more more difficult to get organised. Now, what I've done, I've just pinned that on and that will be our backing and then we can now cut our aggro. So just a sharp knife and use a sawing motion and that takes it off no problem. So this is worth keeping because you might want to make uh, a long shape, you might want to make a square shape or a rectangular shape. Keep all these bits. They're definitely too good to throw away. Uh, we can even do this over the age. It's very easy to cut, so. So that is our bulk away. And what I want to do now is actually just chamfer the actual item. So, just going round that with our knife. Now this is a bit false anyway. But just follow the shape that you've got. Just using a sawing motion. And you can see that that works quite well. So what you're hearing there is the actual pins that I've used for sticking it. But yeah, that's good. I think with a funeral item it's quite nice to chamfer it. So this gives us our base. Now we're not going to soak this as I say, we're just going to keep this dry. And just to be secure, I'm going to put a little bit of string around it as well. Because this is the thing about a funeral item, is it can have quite a long day where it is going to be at risk of 
various people using it, moving it around, um, lifting it up. So we just want everything to be secure. So that's giving us a nice base. And the great thing about making your own base is you can go away from being um, like the commercial ones where it's a perfect heart and it's symmetrical. You can go slightly asymmetric, which is much more interesting. Now, one of the things we want to do is we do want to add a bump for our flowers. So we're going to use a little bit of the acro wheel and just pop that in there. You're going to need quite strong wire. And we can just use that. Oh, is that a bit wider? Yeah, we could use that too. We're just going to use the wire to basically, like a, a Kirby grip or a hair clip, make a bit of a loop and use that to secure the bump in. Now the actual stems of anything that you use as well is also going to help to hold that. But that's quite secure. We've basically made quite a secure uh, lump with that. Now, what I want to use is I want to use this lovely, lovely moss. And uh, I'm just looking to see how best it's going to sit. And then we can use our pins. Now, you could do a ribbon edge if you want. I wanted this to look really natural. And I think if someone is wanting a natural wreath, wanting something biodegradable, they're probably not wanting a load of ribbon and things that make it less biodegradable. So I think this natural look is, is good. It's also going to be the perfect backdrop for our flowers that we're going to have. So the German pins are just perfect, but you can make your own out of wire as well. So it's looking to see how best to do this. <coughs> That's the only problem, it's a bit dusty. I must admit, I do like making items that are a bit different that have a shape or have a lot of significance to the, the people who've ordered it. So. That's why this needs to sit up, is because now you can see it's actually lower because of um, the fact that this moss has got a certain depth. So it's quite important when you put your bump on, let's just call it a bump, that you actually take that into account. <coughs> now you could actually make up uh, bases like this in advance. Uh, and even if you've got somewhere nice and cool outside that you can sit them, they'll be quite happy. You don't particularly need to have them soaking wet, but as long as they're getting uh, a dampness, then that'll be perfect. Now I think as well, using the moss, depending on <coughs> where you get your moss, um, if you've got access to a good source of your own moss, uh, don't take it from the wild, <coughs> then you can make this for actually a very reasonable price and um, it doesn't have to be um, 
doesn't have to necessarily be expensive. And as you can see, it's a lot quicker than basing with flowers. So, just, I'm not being skimpy with the pins because I think if you're skimpy with the pins, you're just putting something out that could be at risk of not falling to bits, but as I said earlier, it is going to be getting moved around, it's going to have different people touching it, doing things with it. You know, you want to know that that is secure. Now, if you have a glue that would be good, then maybe you could have used a glue as well. I think, if in doubt, over-engineer it is a good idea. Because just trusting in the gods when something is commercial or for such an important occasion, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> you want to know that it's going to be really good. So that's a little tidy up. The only problem is this material can be quite dirty and more. Now, you, as I say, you could have done a ribbon edge. With the actual depth of this agrofoam, you could quite easily have put uh, a ribbon around that edge. But I think having this three-dimensional sculpting really makes it a lot more interesting and uh, a lot more fun. Right, now, what we'll do is we'll just transfer to this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a spray because the moss will perform a lot better if it has a dampness within it. And now's a good time just to add that in. <coughs> As you can see it's still dusty. Now We've got our beautiful base. So this is looking really natural. Um, it's nice and secure, it's not heavy. We just need to make a beautiful flower arrangement. Now, if you're really worried about the flowers not lasting, what you could do is you could make this the day before, and then you could make the flowers on the morning of the day that it's needed. So that's another way around worrying about flowers and are they going to survive? Because that is a, is a worry, especially in the summer. But the flowers that I've got I've got this beautiful plant and this just literally was the simplest the simplest plant really actually from the supermarket and uh, we can add our flowers now. So I'm going to make use of really the leaves and the flowers. And as long as the plant has had a really good drink, then I don't think you need to worry too much. Um, because it is going to be hydrated. So if you think like a corsage, a corsage is basically flowers that are cut, they're out of water, um, they're not, in theory, going to last, but it's not about lasting indefinitely, it's about lasting for the day, and that's the important thing. So, I'm just making guide holes for our flowers. And this one's an absolute cracker. It's like a double Double calla. And I want to keep a little bit of height there. I'll just show you what we've got so far. Is we've got a nice line, a nice focal flower, and um, we're getting a nice shape on that. So I could add a little bit more water. This piece was already wet, uh, I should say. And I want this to continue out the back as well. I 
Another way of putting flowers on here would be to make it more like a corsage. That would be one way to do it. I think actually that's more work. This is fine. This is actually not a problem. I've got a little bit of jasmine, and this was a little plant that I've got, but I just think it makes a nice addition. Because um, it really fits in well with the greenery and the line that we've got going on. And actually, it's got quite a good stem, so I can put that in. And up into here as well. The only bad thing with the trailer plants is that sometimes they're growing practically upside down and um, they'd actually work better if they were the right way up. So. So you really want to just take your time with this element so that you don't rush it. If you're feeling rushed, that's going to not help. And it doesn't help with videos because you tend to want to make a video in a fast way. But you can see that we're just building this up. Now, <coughs> also have a little bit off. Lavender. And you could really put in whatever flowers you like here. I've got these little mascari as well that are really cute. I wasn't actually planning on putting them in. Do I want them in? Um, probably not. I think what I really want is a little bit more greenery. So we'll take a little bit out of here. So this is just a little bit more of the lavender. So I know that this is going to sit quite happily in our design. And another flower I was going to use was these little vanda. And I think this is really cute. Now, I will confess these are not real. <laughs> I have used them once or twice. Um, if you were doing this and you want it to be fully biodegradable, you're going to have to um, use ones that are real. So you could take them off a plant, maybe glue them in. Um, that would be okay. I don't have a plant, so I'm just going to have to cheat a little bit with these ones. Uh, but this is going to give you the idea. The great thing with the little vandas is you could actually glue them in um, and They'll sit in quite happily. Now, I also have just one or two roses, and we're going to use these really just to bring a little bit of weight into our design. So this isn't a design that's going to be quick to do, but it is a design that is quicker maybe than using base croissants. So this gives you a good idea, and we've actually got an item that's light, it's interesting, it's quite striking, and uh, I hope you feel a little bit inspired and maybe you can do something similar if you have to make a similar item. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, click here to subscribe. 
We do new videos every week and we would love to see you for our next design. Take care.